In this video, we will learn how to add selecting and deselecting objects functionality in GW5. So let's start by creating a new empty game and add a new scene, a sprite object. And I'll add an animation to it. We will also add an instance of a sprite to the scene. So uh, let's first discuss the objectives of this tutorial. So our objectives are that we can select objects and selected objects can be modified and we should be able to see which objects are selected. So each instance is going to have a selection variable which will be one when the object will be selected and the color of the object will be green. To select the object we need to click on it. So we will start by adding an event to the scene to check mouse click on a sprite object. For this we will add cursor on our object and mouse button pressed conditions as shown. So when these two conditions will be met we want to modify the selection variable to be 1. As the selection variable does not exist, we need to create it first. I'll set the default value to be 0. And here we're going to set the value to be 1 as both the conditions will be met when this action will be executed. So next we will copy this entire event to add deselecting functionality. So let me put the labels so that it's easier for you to understand. This is going to be select for selecting and this is going to be for deselecting. So for deselecting, we will change the mouse button to be right button instead of left button. So on right click, the object will be deselected. We will also change the selection variable to zero. Now to change color of the selected object, add an event and add action to change the global color of the sprite. So that we know that the object is selected. I will choose the green color and we will add the condition to be selection variable equals to 1. So when the selection variable is going to be 1, we want color to change to green. Next I will copy it to this uh, deselecting and also drag it in the appropriate label. So uh, for the deselecting, obviously we're going to change the selection variable to 0 and the color to be white so white means the original color so when it will not be selected it's going to have original color i will also add some more instances of our item to the scene so that we can select multiple objects to show you the application of selection variable i will also add a button to the scene so that we can modify the selected items this button will delete the objects that we have selected. So I'll add a new object, a sprite. I'll name it button. I'll add an animation. And I'll choose this blue cross image. Let me make it a little bigger so that we can see it. Again, for the button, we will check two conditions. Uh, the cursor on the button and the mouse button pressed. So if cursor is on the button and uh, if mouse button pressed or touch held and click on OK, we will change the color of the button to red when it will be pressed. So I will change the global color to red. Now for selected objects, we will add a for each event as a sub event to this uh, uh, event. I'll drag it to make a sub event and I'm going to click on the for each event and select our item sprite. So I'll choose item. Next we're going to add a condition to check if item 
has its selection variable equals to 1. That is, if it is selected, I'll add an action to delete the object. So now, if we click on objects, they should be selected. And when delete button is clicked, the selected object should be uh, deleted. So this is all the necessary events that we need. But there is one more thing. Uh, let's change the button color to its original color when the button is not pressed. So we will add an event and I'll make it a complete event, not a sub event. And I'll copy the conditions uh, and paste them here. And I will invert them. So I will choose when it is not pressed. I'll click on OK. And I'll just copy this condition of changing the color, global color, and I'll make it white. That means the original color. Click on play. So the delete button is working, but it's not deleting anything. So let's select some objects. And I'll press the delete button. They got deleted. So yeah, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. And also, since the last upload, we have gained around 10 new subscribers as of now. So thank you so much for your love and support. Bye.